Hi everyone, how are you? Oh my god, I'm becoming so punctual by the way. I said I was gonna do a live at 3 and it's 3. Bam! So, um, I hope all of you guys are safe and um, you know, we're all in this really crazy situation right now and I hope you're safe and comfortable where you are and have what you need um, and like I told you last week and the week before that I've been working with Bon Viv Spiked Seltzer um, to highlight women who are giving back to us right now um, and in challenges and helping people today in ways that we probably couldn't have imagined um, and we've had some really incredible submissions last week of some really amazing women and it was really hard for us to sit down and figure out which one of them um, we should commemorate um, so I have, I, all I want to say is that the stories of the four women that we're going to highlight today are really incredible and um, I just want to say thank you um, from my end, my family's end, for doing so much for us and uh, for making sure that we have the ability to feel safe and uh, um, be at home and have the comfort of that. So I'm going to jump into quickly telling you guys about who these four incredible women are and we might just talk to one of them. I'm going to try and connect with her, okay? I hope we're on the same, same time zone. <laughs> so our first incredible woman is um, Laura. She's from California. Laura, you were nominated by your friend Farah. And this is Farah's... Uh, this is what Farah wrote to, to me. This is my dear friend Laura. She's a badass and she's fierce. Some of the things that I find inspiring about Laura is her courage and her immense craving to always keep learning and growing. One of the best things about her is she isn't afraid to go where a lot of people want to. For instance, right now, Laura's on the front lines every day, helping to keep the refresh spot open in LA. This is a place which provides bathrooms, showers, laundry services, and so much more to our people experiencing homelessness. This place gives back people their dignity because no matter what the circumstance, everyone deserves to feel and be clean. Laura and her team keep the spot open during the scary time and even though it puts her at risk, I know being there for our people experiencing homelessness makes her the happiest. Laura and her team deserve applause and our gratitude for continuing to keep our most vulnerable population safe. Oh my god, I can't think of who deserves it more. I mean, thank you so much Laura for protecting people who are most vulnerable. That's the scariest thing about this pandemic is you know we have the ability and the privilege to be able to stay at home but there are so many people around the world for whom social distancing is impossible for whom um even being able to stay at home is impossible and it's so incredible that you're doing the work that you're doing laura i would like to commemorate you i would like to thank you um and i would like to say that you know you're our hero thank you so much and thank you farah for her nomination um next up We'd like to say thank you to Tammy. And Tammy is from Washington. Tammy, you were nominated by your daughter, Kalila Kalani. I hope I said that right. <laughs> this is my mom who has, who has worked for more than 12 years at the local hospital. She's an environmental service worker, cleaning, operating rooms and emergency rooms. While this pandemic is going, while this pandemic has been going, she has supported her co-workers, helping them to keep to be safe. She has contacted our older neighbors despite working overtime most days. Um, she's consistently encouraging those around her through fear. I watch her go out the door all week knowing that her job has become a hazard to her health. I know there are a lot of people in need and who are going through similar issues right now, but she has been the strongest person in my life since day one and no one deserves more than her. If I could lift any weight, even if it's something simple as cash, I would to make it easier, I would. Her whole life has been about my siblings and I. It would be nice if something was for her. You're going to make me cry now. Hmm. That's really sweet, um, Kalila. And I think your mom deserves um, so much love and so much commemoration. And I understand that. My parents used to always make everything about my brother and me. And... Um, and our parents give up so much and sacrifice so much um, to be able to give us the life that we dream of. And um, the best ones are those. So you're very blessed to have a mom like Tammy and she's very blessed to have a daughter like you. I commemorate both of you and um, I hope 
you know, whatever we can do to help will help your situation. And thank you so much for nominating her. I love your story. The third inspiring woman we have today is Jessica Murray from New Jersey. Jessica, you were nominated by your sister, Jay. Make your purpose bigger than your pain. This is what my big sister always told me. And today I want to recognize and nominate her. I've watched her blossom into a strong woman whose mission is helping other women and children who suffer unimaginable abuse, just like she experienced as a child. During this new time in which we're living and practicing social distancing means an increased risk for victims of domestic violence. Not only has Jessica provided information and resources during these times, but I've seen her tirelessly work to put together care and safety packages for domestic violence shelters for survivors who've been affected the most during this crisis. Jessica's dream is to see a world free of stigma around sexual abuse. While many of us are social, distance, social distancing, she knows that many don't feel safe at home due to domestic violence or sexual abuse which is why she continues to speak to teenagers and college students on the importance of healthy relationships, becoming independent, education and self-care. That's actually really incredible. You know, I was speaking to um, a friend of mine yesterday and we were talking about this pandemic and, and what it might mean for um, victims or survivors of um, domestic abuse or sexual abuse to be you know, contained in an environment with your abuser. And Jessica, to see that you're doing work and working with teens and adolescent um, kids um, and showing them the importance of self-care is so incredibly powerful and so needed at a time like this. So I wanna thank you for your generosity, Jessica. Um, this is really incredible and a lot of people probably don't think about it. The fourth woman we're thankful for today is Crystal Burton from Tennessee. Crystal, you were nominated by your sister, Lucretia Burton Saba. Um, I hope I said that right. <laughs> when I read about this program, I knew I had to tell the world about my amazing, in capitals, sister. My sister is serving on the front lines of this pandemic as a physical as physician assistant at the ER. Following every shift, I can see the stress, exhaustion, and worry on her face as she continues to strap on a smile, recycle masks, and brave face for her patients. Outside of the emergency room, she serves as a first lieutenant in the U.S. Army slash Tennessee National Guard. She has courageously served our country for the past 10 years. Her courage, strength, resilience, and ability to lead during times of sadness and uncertainty makes her my hero in all aspects of life. She's beyond worthy of this promotion. Crystal, thank you for sacrificing yourself and your family for your community, not only during this pandemic, but every single day. You are appreciated. Oh my gosh, Lucretia, that's so beautiful. I mean, my father, my mom and my dad both were in the military in India and both were physicians as well. Um, so I really connect with what you're saying. I would love to speak to Crystal. Let's see if I can reach her. What do you think? Hmm. Go live with B. Hmm. I don't know why. Do, 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 do. Why isn't it letting me find her? Sorry, guys. Even though I do this often enough, this is really crazy. C B U I can't say that unless I'm telling you guys what her Instagram is. Oh and Sorry guys, I know you're enjoying me trying to figure this out very much, but <laughs> um, I don't know why it's not even showing up. Well, 
I would have loved to talk to you. If I can reach out to Crystal, I might just connect with you guys again. Crystal, I know I told you. Have you? Some of you are asking me where Nick is. He's standing right here making sure my light's fine. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can find Crystal. Bobs, can you help me with this? Sorry. Sure. I need to find, do it live with her. I can't seem to do nothing. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not working. That's what I'm saying. I'm not crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's not right? Oh, <laughs> that's, <not bad. laughs> that's great. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this is so funny. Nick gave up. Anyway. <laughs> I think instead of making more of a fool of myself, I'm, I'm just going to um, try and connect with Crystal a little bit later, maybe next time. Um, clearly technology hates me. Not that I didn't know what I was doing. But um, it's so amazing to have the opportunity to be able to do this uh, every week with Bon Viv and to commemorate these amazing women. And I just have to say thank you um, for just doing all the work that you are, everyone around the world. Um, I know we're all trying to do the best that we can. And, um, you know, I think the point is that just stay safe and uh, help continue to help each other, find the compassion in, in each other and um, just be able to do the best that you can to support the world. I think that's most important at the moment. And I will see you next week. And I'm so sorry, Crystal, I couldn't connect with you. That makes me feel terrible because I really wanted everyone to hear from you. But I'm gonna try it again at some point. But thank you all for, um, you know, hearing me out and um, supporting these incredible women with me. And um, join me next Wednesday to toast three or four or five other women. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs>